Have you ever taken a cold shower? What if I told you that cold showers have so many benefits? You'll want to try them. Hey guys, this is Aaron from Aaron Plays Fun Facts. Around the end of summer, I remember, my family and I went to a beach that we'd go to pretty often, and the water was cold. I somehow had a gust of motivation to go in the water. At the time, I was watching videos about cold therapy. Oh my god, cold showers burn so many calories. It burns so much fat, yeah, for six pack abs. I felt alive. It was an eye opening experience. I must have burned so many calories, yeah, I'm gonna get abs soon. The next day, I remember I could not have been bothered. My muscles were so sore and I felt so tired. True, I pushed myself. But I used the wrong system. I never came back, not even attempted. Why would I? In the end, I didn't get abs, if you're wondering. I've been taking cold showers every day for a month now. Beyond all the physical benefits, there's one that stands out. Discipline. I hope that you take showers at least once every day. But even if you do, frequent hot showers can lead to dry, damaged, itchy skin, and sometimes even rashes. I definitely relate to this. Bro, I remember all the time, I would just be scratching my legs for no reason. It'd be constantly itchy, I'm like Sugh. And then it'd be itchy and then red after I scratched it, and I was like, why is this happening to me? I took showers so hot, there was like steam coming out of the water, steam fog. At the end of the shower, the mirror would be dripping wet from the condensation. You could search up on Google, cold shower vs hot shower, and there'll be a million sources spreading the exact same information. Oh, look, look, hot showers relax you for bed, they relax your muscles, they open up your pores and cleanses your skin. And cold showers, they're really good because they activate your immune system and you burn more calories. But I found that cold showers has the benefits of hot showers and cold showers. So it ends up releasing tension from my muscles after a workout. This, along with meditation and journaling, improves my mental health. I take showers at night because I have school and I can't be consistent with taking showers in the morning. It brings me energy, sure, but I fall asleep just fine. Now, let me share in detail the one most valuable thing I got from cold showers. This is gonna heavily connect to what I say on my other YouTube channel, Quantum Kid. Necessary suffering, unnecessary suffering. Necessary suffering is good, like a sacrifice. Necessary suffering makes us stronger, while unnecessary suffering is unnecessary, like bullying. Cold showers are a form of necessary suffering. I think it relates to any path to success and teaches a great lesson. To go to the gym, to start a business, you have to get out of your comfort zone. If you can't stand two minutes of uncomfort in the shower where the only downside of it is cold, how are you going to achieve greatness? Taking cold showers builds discipline. Like meditation, cold showers brings your mind back to your body. Challenge yourself. It's about time you get uncomfortable. Self-discipline allows you to stay focused on your goals. You actually get done what you want to get done. All right, you decided your next shower is going to be cold. It better. I don't know if I'm going to add that. Here are a few things to know before we get started. Wim Hof, the Iceman, said that the optimized stimulation time to be in cold water is around two minutes. I would start with a warm shower, not a hot one. I'd use soap on my hair, on my skin, and then I'd rinse. After that, I'd turn the water cold, and then colder on the lowest setting. Outside of the shower, I have my phone on the sink counter with a stopwatch open so I can see the time. If I'm finished with the soap and the time is four minutes and 30 seconds, 
you take a cold shower until it's six minutes and 30 seconds. You can absolutely take longer cold showers to train the mind more. I'll keep it simple at around two minutes for convenience and also because I've progressed all the way down to the coldest setting in my shower. I definitely plan on taking it longer. In the first few cold showers that I took, I'd just be standing there like tss, tss, ah! letting my back take all the water. And to be fair, okay, it was the first week, you know, it was good. At least I took the showers and then chicken out. But when you actually get to a really good temperature, you'll move around. It'll be so cold, it'll feel hot. It's not completely painless, and it will feel like burning. Don't cheat it and have half of your body outside of the water. You're probably new to cold showers. How do you get started? Oh, you know, you're a beginner, you don't know what to do, right? Uh, you, really, you really don't wanna do it, maybe you'll do it tomorrow. You don't know how to take a shower? Don't give in to your excuses. We've all had them, I've had them. Make it easy. So you're trying to build a habit. As I've said a million times, we need to be consistent. So quantity over quality. Make it easy, progressively make it colder, colder, and colder after each session. Look, you're not gonna last until you get hypothermia. You're not gonna die, you're not gonna get hurt. Just do it. It won't hurt you, you'll just feel cold. Get out of your comfort zone and take the shower. Okay, I'm chill. Share this with friends and family. Don't keep the benefits of the cold shower just for yourself. Please like this video and subscribe if it helped you, as it's the best way to support me and this channel for free. I'm Aaron from Aaron Plays Fun Facts. Peace.